Hello and welcome back to Snack Play Love where today we are continuing to put the Samsung Freestyle through its paces. Today we have the spare bedroom test which was mostly inspired by a comment on one of our previous videos from Sandra. Hello Sandra. Um, who was asking about its suitability for her needs as a small projector for projecting onto the ceiling and other areas in the bedroom. And why the spare bedroom you ask? Well it's the easiest place for me to make a pile of boxes to test this out on the blind which is as texture free as you're going to get in this house um, with a outlandish wallpaper. Um, but I had a few uh, initial problems. You see, I took the projector into work today. So as you can see, going to work and connecting to my mobile hotspot has removed the home network from the settings, which is fine for a large TV, but for a little projector that you're supposed to want to take with you to places, it probably needs to have more more of a laptop style thing where it can save a couple of local networks that you can connect to when they show up. So if you're just planning to use the projector in a single place on one Wi-Fi connection, then this isn't going to be so much of an issue as if you're like me and you want to try it in a couple of different places. Um, but again, if you don't mind using the app to input the different Wi-Fi codes at every location you go to, then that's less of an issue. Um, it looks quite washed out at the moment, but if we turn the lights off, you can see that this is a much sharper picture than um, it was a second ago. There is a light border around the dark border, or on the other side, a dark border around the light border on the, um, the left-hand side, um, where the projector is casting light, but not the image from the, the app. So... Um, this is because of the keystone correction automatically adjusting for the wind and wobbling of the um, the setup that I have it on. But as you can see, you can press the various buttons if you can see them in the dark on the um, Samsung remote. Go to Prime Video, which loads pretty well. Everything loads at the speed of a, I'd say, a, a, a sort of decent enough smart TV. Using it over my mobile broadband instead of the home broadband, pardon me, which is really fast, um, was much more of an issue today. Um, that was interesting. I'd not really anticipated that. But um, let me move this about a bit and um, we'll show you what it's like on the ceiling. So from a very basic perspective, um, for sending things from your phone, I've got my iPhone here, to the uh, freestyle, you would need to both have them both on the same Wi-Fi network, which again isn't so much of an issue, but at work where my phone was the Wi-Fi network, it was a problem. So we could only use the built-in apps and it didn't really work very well. Um, so here it is on the wall and then up it goes onto the ceiling. It's become larger because it's further away, but you can all just see the texture of the wall, well, the ceiling paper. So let me just turn that off. But now, same ceiling as a few seconds ago. You can see the texture, but it's not so much of an issue. Now, whether you can get a decent picture, um, decent stable picture anyway, really depends on how you're setting it up. The reason for me having it on boxes is that when I did it originally, it was on the bed with me, which is fine, but it means that every time you move, the picture moves and the keystone moves and it adjusts. So realistically, you need a bedside table for it to go on. Um, and let me just adjust and show you that. Shot of the projector in the dark. So as you can see, as you can see the um, projector there just booting up. So this is a test of the boot up time. Sitting next to my sleep apnea machine on the bedside table, which is a collectible video game thing, like all good homes. Um, casting onto the ceiling, and that's how quickly it boots up. But as you can see, it's in a horrible shape at the moment in terms of where it is for the room. So let me just turn the light back off. Oop. Lovely blue glow. Keith Herring pillow. 
So, oh no, it's gone onto Samsung TV Plus. Let me find the remote. That's the quickest way to annoy me. It should not automatically boot to random TV programs. So, balancing that on the headboard. Oops. To adjust it, you kind of just have to rotate it to the right orientation. Do, do, do. So now I have a fairly square Disney on the ceiling. If we go into widescreen, there we go. So this is fisheye, so there's going to be some distortion from the um, the iPad itself. As you can see, me leaning over is causing shadow on this side, and the things on the top of the bookcase are causing some shadow on the other side. This is the problem I had earlier. Um, it didn't load very quickly, but it's getting there. But as you can see, um, on the ceiling, it's lovely and square, lovely and bright, and had I got a free hand, I would happily play one of the trailers like I did in the other video to show you the good blacks and the good sound and everything. Um, the projector itself, let me adjust, is essentially not going to tilt from its upright position. I have to wait for something slightly brighter to come back on the screen. There we go. Um, in fact, if I turn this light on, there we go because the way that it's designed is the hinge is here, so this isn't loose at all. This is, this is rock solid, and you can adjust it to any of its many little sort of individual angles, and it's not going to wobble from that. You, you're not going to accidentally knock it, and it's not going to gradually drift from the position. So even though it's much more expensive than the um, stars and moon ceiling projectors that you occasionally see on um, sale this one is actually going to enable to you, you to watch films in bed on the ceiling as intended but what i'm going to have to try and figure out is a way to mount it maybe or just put a book on the bed so that it's more directly above me and i'm not just watching the stuff on top of the shelves for the whole time. If you have a slightly bigger bedroom or a slightly clearer bedroom, or indeed if I took it into the master bedroom, which has an even more patterned ceiling, can you believe it? Um, then um, yeah, you might be able to get better results at home. But as it stands, it is quite adjustable. So I can just oops, pick it up, point it at the wall, and it should adjust to match. I think I'm wobbling too much for it to do this. Otherwise, um, it would be keystoning properly. But um, yeah, there we go. It's, it's just adjusted on the actual ceiling again and refocused. But it should make itself slightly smaller on the wall. I don't think it likes it when it's moving. I think it needs to be quite stable. But um, uh, anyway, but I hope that has helped the people in the comment section to see that that's what this can do again i still think it's a little bit overpriced and i do have the budget hdmi cables to now attach it to um the games consoles and things and see what that looks like um i'll be doing that this evening so that might go up the day after this video but thank you for watching bye